If you're thinking of picking up Palworld to play on the Steam Deck, great news, the new Pokemon Arc Hybrid works, for the most part. First things first, it's worth pointing out Palworld hasn't officially been optimised for the Steam Deck. That's fine though, very few games are. That said, Palworld doesn't require a high-end PC to run to its fullest, meaning the Steam Deck isn't going to have to work too hard to get decent performance. I've currently logged around 20 hours so far, and while I am impressed with what I've seen, it's not perfect. With tweaks to the settings, you can get a smooth 60 frames per second for a lot of the time, although that does come with several caveats. When the screen is busy, or when your pals are trying to pick up large amounts of resource that they've for some reason decided to ditch on the ground, the frame rate can and will dip. It is also possible to get a few extra frames here and there depending on how quiet the area you're in is, but I strongly recommend setting a cap on the frame rate to 30 just to keep things feeling more fluid. There is also going to be some crashes. I had the game lock up on multiple occasions. Sometimes it'll pause for 10 seconds and then everything will be fine. Other times I had to hard reset the Steam Deck by holding down the power button until the light blinks. It's not great, but when it does work, it works. It's also worth keeping in mind, as Palworld is currently an early access game, there is going to be other bugs as well. There's a small save data deletion bug going around, people can fall through the floor, and resetting perks is advised against right now. I personally haven't run into too many of those specific issues, and for an early access game with this many moving parts, I'm impressed by how polished the game feels. Most people will be able to play it and enjoy it with minimal problems, excluding the crashes obviously. I do also want to quickly make one final point, because I've seen too many people get burned by this. If you like the look of the game, grab it now even if you're not going to play it right this second. The price is currently $26.99 for those who don't know, and there's always a chance when the game leaves early access that price will increase. So if it sounds like your thing, get it now and save yourself some money. Your future self will thank you. Okay, let's talk settings. We're going to be making a custom loadout, so feel free to change the preset if you want to. For the screen mode, full screen, screen resolution, leave as it is. Max FPS, you want that to be down to 30. For V-Sync, you want that turned to off. Motion blur, you also want that off because it looks horrific. For anti-aliasing, leave that on TSR. For view distance, I prefer medium. You can mess around with this if you want to, but as we're dealing with a lower spec device like the Steam Deck, medium is probably your safest bet. Grass detail, we also want that left to medium. That should leave enough grass so that the textures have something on them, but it won't affect the frame rate too much. For shadows, we want that as low. Effects quality, keep that on medium. Texture quality, we also want that on medium. The next thing we're going to do is open up the quick access menu by pressing the three dot button. Scroll down to the battery icon, and then we can go across and change some settings. For frame limit, I prefer to keep it on 30. You can put allow tearing on, but I don't think it really needs to. It will get you an extra few frames, but it's not really necessary. For TDP, I went with 12 watts. You can up that if you want more power going into the device, but you will get a shorter battery life. For scaling mode, you can play around with it and change it as you see fit. Stretch will cover the entire screen, while auto will cover most of the screen. Scaling filter, we want to leave that on FSR. And sharpness, set that to whatever you're comfortable with. I prefer 5 because it gives the cleanest image. Not everyone will agree though. Early access games are always a mixed bag. Sometimes you'll get something like Palworld that feels like a full release at a budget price tag. Other times you'll get something that barely works like Ark. It's great that Palworld is releasing in such a mostly playable state. There's still work to do, and hopefully down the line the Steam Deck gets some further optimizations and a host of bug fixes, whether that's from the developer itself or through Valve via Proton. So far, the game is a mix of everything I love. It's the survival of Minecraft, the creature capture of Ark, the mechanics of Zelda, and the art style is a mix of Sonic Frontiers and Pokemon. It's everything everywhere all at once in that regard. If the question you've got is, are you safe to play it now or should you wait, that depends. I'd say Palworld is currently very playable on the Steam Deck, and despite the issues like crashes, lockups, and bugs, it's still great to play on the go. If you are worried about the bugs, I suggest leaving it at least a month or two months just to see how the developer responds. Although keep in mind, the game has been a runaway success, so it may take a little longer to get bug fixes out. In the meantime, if you're happy to overlook these problems, Feel free to get Palworld now and play it on the deck in a smooth 30 frames per second. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, and if you'd like to subscribe, that would be awesome. Until next time, see ya.